Hello, welcome in the new video. Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to see the destruction of democracy in the Germany. In the earlier video, we have seen how Hitler turned, walked to a largest party in the parliament. Now, when he, after coming in a power, what he had done, how he demolished the democracy in the Germany, we are going to see that is the destruction of the democracy. Destruction, destroying. How he destroyed? Hitler achieved the highest position in the cabinet of ministers on 30 January 1933. He got the position, he taken oath as the chancellorship on the date of 30 January 1933. On 30 January 1933, President Hindenburg offered the chancellorship the highest position in the cabinet of ministers to the Hitler. The President Hindenburg you are looking. He was the president in the Germany when Hitler's party got majority in the Germany. So he offered the chancellorship to the Hitler. Chancellorship as a prime minister in the India, the prime minister is the highest position in the cabinet of ministers in that way. The chancellorship is also the highest position in the Germany. Now, also these people are using this term for the highest position, that is the chancellorship. They are not using the prime minister. So one work for you people, find out nowadays who is the chancellorship, chancellor of the Germany. It is just a general knowledge to you people. By now, the Nazis had managed to rally the conservatives to their cause. By now, the Nazis were success to get the conservative support. Having acquired power, Hitler set out to dismantle the structure of democratic rule. After getting in a power, it has started to dismantle the democratic rule in the German to make it what he had done, a mysterious fire that broke out in the German parliament building in February facilitated his move on fire. The fire was mysterious, mysterious, unable to trace the cause for it. So the mysterious fire broke out in the a mysterious fire the fire you are looking in this picture. This is the picture of German Reichstag or the parliament. The fire took place, broke out in the Reichstag. It, is, it was the mysterious, mysterious, unable to trace the cause. It is called mysterious. A mysterious fire that broke out in the German parliament building in February facilitated his move, his move, Hitler's move. It given help, it was benefited to the Hitler to move to the next path or to the next quality. What do you think who had done this fire or who had in light the fire there? There was a no any press got to the people of Germany of it. The fire decree on of 28 February 1933 indefinitely suspended civic rights because of this fire decree. This decree, the order, 28 February 1933, suspended all the civic rights in the Germany, like freedom of speech, press, and assembly. These all fundamental rights of the civilians suspended through this, the fire of decree. After that, he turned toward the communist to wear uh, communist. He was thinking he the communist to wear the arch enemies from earlier, a strong enemies of the German or the Nazis. Then he turned on his arch enemies, he means here Hitler, the communist most of whom were hurriedly packed off the newly established concentration camp. The communist were packed and turned or sent to the concentration camp. What was the concentration camp? This you are looking the concentration camp. 
how it's are concentration camps in germany it's are used for the mass killing a camp where people were isolated and detained without due to uh, without due process of law typically it was surrounded by electrified barbed wire fences people could not able to escape themselves from these places so it was covered with the wires which were electrical wires currents were given there if one is trying to escape from here he or she may die there or can be leave the world the repression of communist was very severe severe very harsh just only the communist were not repressed or tortured or eliminated like communist 52 types victims were persecuted by the nazis across the country may they were democrats socialist jews gypsies in that way 52 groups were tortured by the hitler or the nazis in the germany in the across the country of nazis then he passed the enabling act which made easy move of the hitler on the 3rd march 1933 the famous enabling act was passed the act was passed on the 3rd march 19 33 this was famous in having act it is said it destroyed the democracy completely from the germany all political parties all which were political parties in the germany were banned except the nazi party and its athletes were remain only the nazis and the consultating consultative parties to the nazis were remain others all were eliminated or banned through the enabling act special surveillances and security forces were created to control the people and rule with impunity special forces he made their special surveillance uh, surveillance observances surveillance was observed secret police secret uh, forces security forces were created by the nazis to control the people and rule with impunity whatever without any question they want to rule impunity without any question special surveillances and security forces were created to control and order society in ways that the nazi wanted apart from the already existing regular police in the green uniform and the sa or the storm troopers this includes the gestapo the secret state police and the ss the protection squads criminal police and the security services they called psds these all were created after the coming in a power by the hitler to make the nazi state in the germany these all were helped to the hitler to make power or to make the dreaded na nation it was the extra constitutional powers of these new organized forces that gave the nazi state its reputation as most dreaded criminal these people made the germany as a dreaded nation dreaded bhayanak people could not people could now be retained detained in a gestapo gestapo it was the torture chamber detained can keep without any inquiry rounded up and sent to concentration camp deported at will or arrested without any legal procedures the po police forces acquired powers to rule with impunity so these all people helped to the germany helped to the hitler helped to the nazism to make as a dreaded nation here we have seen the destruction of a democracy by the hitler coming in a power and destroying the democracy dismantling the democracy and making new nazism in the germany in the next part we will see the reconstruction of the germany how he rebuilt the germany in the economical field and in the political field that we will see in the next video